Hi everybody, Jim Crawford here with Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate and I'm here with Chelsea of Humane PA again. Thank you for having us again. It's my pleasure, my <laughs> pleasure. And as you can see, we've got our featured pet of the week which we'll tell you about here momentarily. Um, so how did the virtual walk go? So it actually went really well. Um, we So far we've fundraised over $21,000 for the animals. So, Fantastic. Yeah, despite not being able to, to get together and you know celebrate how we normally would, it still feels really good that we were able to bring awareness. Sure, all things considered, that's a, that's a respectable event. Definitely, yeah. definitely, yeah. Excellent, so what else is new uh, here at the, the Humane League? Yeah, so um, specifically in regards to the walk, if someone maybe missed the event and they, you know, they still wanna try and like help out and, and fundraise, um, we do still have some t-shirts available. So folks who may have missed the event but still maybe want the commemorative t-shirt can still register and we'd be happy to send it to them. Okay. Um, and then last time I know we spoke about this, but we are still looking to expand our team. Um, sure. So we have a couple of different positions open and that's, you know, specifically in the shelter or a vet hospital, um, you know, so on and so forth. So lots of different positions open and available and we're really looking to expand so people can go online and, and look up our employment opportunities. Sure. And the <laughs> website will be posted so you'll be able to see what those are uh, uh, specifically for yes. sure. <laughs> Uh, so tell us about Lolly. Yeah, so Lolly here, she's walking around now, but I'm just gonna lift her up quick. So here she is, she's a long-haired guinea pig. Um, she is three years old, and she was initially brought into the shelter just because the family wasn't able to um, give as much time and attention as she deserved. Um, that being said, um, they just wanted to make sure that we were able to find a, a better fitting family. Um, she's super docile. She's very calm, well socialized, so she's really going to make a good pet for anybody. Um, in addition, guinea pigs are also um, great starter pets, specifically for critters. Um, her favorite treat is cucumbers, which she will be munching on throughout the whole uh, video, I'm sure. <laughs> sure. Um, and just to kind of add to it, since she is a long-haired guinea pig, just some grooming might be required just as far as just like brushing our own hair. You know, we don't want it to get naughty, so just brushing hers every now and then. She'll probably love it. Yes, yes. She, uh, she has beautiful flowing locks, <laughs> but yeah, she's a very, very good guinea pig and would really, like I said, just fit in with anybody, so. Yeah, and I, I did, in doing my research, I read that there's some studies actually that uh, guinea pigs have been proven to reduce stress in children with autism. That's awesome. So uh, certainly a great pet to have around for sure. Definitely. Uh, so if someone wanted to adopt Lolly, how do they go about doing that? Sure, so there's kind of a couple different ways to go through that. Um, typically our shelter, you know, when, when times were more normal, quote unquote, um, people could just walk in and, and kind of look around. Um, now we're trying to limit foot traffic, so we do ask if you're interested in stopping in and whether it's viewing Lolly or any of our other animals, just give us a call first. Um, they can give the shelter a call and set up an appointment to come in and look around. We're open seven days a week from nine until five, so definitely lots of room for people who might work during the week or work wonky hours on the weekend we'll have some time available for you um, so they could just come and look around like i had just said or if they're super interested in lolly like say they see her on the video and they just want to apply right away um, our adoption interest form is located on our website so they could fill that out that would automatically submit over to our front desk and then our front desk would get in touch with you to make an appointment to formally meet her and if you're interested, everything goes well, you can go home with her in the same day. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, I know that you've got some more upcoming events. Yeah. What's going on? We have a couple um, events happening this week. So this coming Friday, we have an event called First Friday. Um, so that is in partnership with Pollen Consolidated, Reading Downtown Improvement District, and Reading Distilling Guild. So essentially it's just like a big celebration with everybody. Um, we are going to have, um, there's beer, there's food, there's live music, there's a live art show going on of some sort, so maybe like a live painting type of thing. Um, Humane Pennsylvania will be there with a table set up. We'll have some merchandise as well as some raffles for people to purchase tickets for if they're interested in. Um, but you know, that's gonna be going on from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. Um, but say that you're not able to necessarily make it, we also actually have a virtual version so people can go on um, through the link that will be posted on our social media pages and they can just stream the event live. 
Great. Um, and if they are still looking to support Humane Pennsylvania and its partners, there's going to be a, a tip option. And some of those tips um, will generously come back and be donated to us. That's great. Yeah, it's awesome. It feels good to get back into the swing of things with events because everything was pretty much just like on hold. For sure, a sure. So, um, but then, yeah, in addition to that, right from Friday into Saturday, we're doing something else. You um, guys so, are busy. <laughs> yes. So we're doing a Spike's Pet Pantry food drive. Um, so essentially, Spike's Pet Pantry is our pet food pantry that helps community members in need. So we'll hand out dry dog food and cat food multiple times a month to both um, Lancaster, um, uh, excuse me, Lancaster residents and Berks County residents and beyond if you would need assistance and can make it down. Um, but yeah, that's going to be held at Seidel Hyundai and that's from 12 p.m. till 3 p.m. And essentially, um, someone would bring a bag of dry dog or cat food, drop it off, and then we actually have some fun little treats. So there's going to be sweet ride ice cream as well as Tom Sturgis pretzels. So if you drop off food, then you'll get some ice cream and pretzels in return as a thank you. That sounds like a bonus for sure. Yes. Yep. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Well, again, I'm Jim Crawford with Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate and Chelsea with Humane Pennsylvania. Uh, we will be back again in a few weeks. We will also have all the links uh, so that if you're interested in Lolly, you can uh, get that information. Also, if you know of any other businesses out there that would like to be featured in an interview, please let me know. We'd love the opportunity to meet them as well. So thanks and we'll see everybody again soon.